an old alliance but new faces. This was the first time Boris Johnson had met Joe Biden and his wife Jill. Also the first time he could present his new wife Carrie to the President and First Lady. Her jacket bore the message love, a signal that America is keen to look outward again after the Trump years. But the two men's focus ahead of their talks was on the purely personal. I told the Prime Minister we have something in common. We both married way above our state. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going <laughs> to descend from that one. I'm not going to disagree with the President that, or indeed on anything else. Amid tight security, the leaders spoke for more than an hour on topics ranging from Russia and China to opening up transatlantic travel again. Afterwards, the president talked to the media at Tregenna Castle about how the encounter had gone. We affirmed the special relationship, as is not said lightly, the special relationship between our people and we renewed our commitment to defending the enduring democratic values that both our nations share. On COVID, there was this commitment on vaccines. The United States will purchase a half a billion doses of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine to donate to nearly 100 nations that are in dire need in the fight against this pandemic. That's a historic step. Past endeavors were on their minds earlier as they examined the archives of the Atlantic Charter, agreed by their wartime predecessors, Roosevelt and Churchill including the bell from the ship on which they met. That's the original bell. That's the original bell? The original bell. Yeah. The symbolism underlined by the presence of the ship's namesake, the aircraft carrier HMS Prince of Wales, off the coast nearby. President Biden wants this summit to be about more than just sampling the Cornish Sea air. It's clear he hopes to reset relations within the Western alliance. The question is whether fault lines over Brexit will allow that to happen. Before arriving in Cornwall, the president had signalled his concern that rows over the Northern Ireland Protocol, part of the Brexit deal, are jeopardising peace. The Prime Minister was keen to play down any disagreements over that. The United States, Washington, uh, the UK, plus the European Union have one thing we absolutely all want to do, and that is to uphold the Good Friday, the Belfast Good Friday Agreement and, and make sure we keep uh, the balance of the of the peace process going and that's absolutely common ground and you know i'm 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 optimistic that we can do that away from the formalities there was a photo call on the beach with the first lady and mrs johnson young wilfred also joining in the bidens later enjoyed a few moments relaxing together ahead of tomorrow's summit how are your meetings going here in cornwall very well come on, come on. <laughs> There was much emphasis today on the close ties between these allies, but this is the first G7 since Brexit, and the tensions over that still threaten to overshadow the summit. Libby Vina, News at 10, St Ives.